everybody and welcome to another video of Dr. V. We are currently doing our life hack series. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button below and hit the bell for notifications because you know that this life hack series is gonna be good. So to start off, today's topic is a very unique one. It is about how to choose the best watermelon. Now let's say you're going grocery shopping on a hot summer day, you go to the watermelon section, and when you want to make the decision, you simply can't. All watermelons look alike, feel alike, um, weigh alike, and like how do you choose which is the best one? Now to answer this question, first we need to determine what people look for in watermelons. And I know that as a matter of fact, all of us look for sweetness. We like watermelons to be sweet. And for a watermelon to be sweet, it needs to be ripe. So how do we say, or how do we tell if a watermelon is ripe or not? Well, there's an easy trick. You lift up the watermelon to your head, and you give it a knock, and you listen to the sound it produces. If the sound is dull, muffled, difficult to, you know, to even hear. This means that the watermelon is not ripe. On the other hand, if you knock and you hear a sound as if you're knocking on an empty, uh, empty metal water bottle, if it's ringing, if it's a high pitch, and like you hear the sound, it's evident. That means that the watermelon is ripe, and also, this means that it is sweet. So next time you go grocery shopping, keep this in mind. Tell it to your friends and family that Dr. V told me to select the best watermelon. Just pick it up, knock, and listen to it. And you'll be surprised to see how many other people are doing it already. So you're not the only one. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Give it a like, comment down below what you want to see in the future videos, as you know that I read through each and every single comment. And until next time, Doc, thanks.